everybody, Ed and I are actually in Dallas, Texas today, and we are currently having a box truck filled up with zoo decor over at Universal Rocks. So while we wait for that to happen, we figured we may as well go herping and see what we can find. We're gonna try to get some copperheads and cottonmouths, aka uh, water moccasins, but who knows what we're actually gonna find. But we have a lot of ideas of where to go in mine, so let's go herping! Did you know? Yep. What it's did you find? The deadly, venomous toad. Aww. Oh, what a cute little toad. Oh, he's so cute. Don't be hopping out of my hands, it's death. <laughs> It's not a cotton mouth like we were looking for, but that's a huge frog. They do say things are bigger in Texas, but, but look at that. Look what we just came across. This is an American bullfrog, and I mean, we've all seen bullfrogs before, but this is by far the biggest bullfrog I have ever seen. So to hold a large frog like this, or any frog that's of a decent size, the best way to actually hold them is to take your middle finger and your thumb, and or your pointer finger, your index finger and your thumb, and you actually wrap it around their waist. So this is what you do. He's actually kind of chilly right now, so he's slow moving, so he should be pretty easy to do. <laughs> yeah, he didn't even move. So he's a little bit cold, but um, it makes him easier to, to hold and show you how to do that. But this is how you uh, restrain a large frog. It doesn't hurt them at all. They just kind of sit there and it helps prevent them from wiggling out because they sure are slippery little amphibians. But this is the United States largest frog species. And as you can see, they get huge. And I am just so psyched that we came across this giant thing. They can weigh over a pound and they can grow uh, between three and a half to even six inches long and that's approximately 7 to 15 centimeters long so this is an adult male we can tell it's a male because of its tympanum here it's more pronounced and the tympanum is their eardrum and it's larger in males than it is for females so that size of a tympanum tells me that this is a male american bullfrog it's towards the end of their breeding season so he's probably trying to find a female but you're not you don't have much time left dude so i'm sorry to uh, interrupt you here i guess i'll have to let you go here soon they also have huge appetites too so i'm sure he's just chowing down on anything he can catch in this lake behind me. They'll eat crayfish and snakes, even birds sometimes too. They have voracious appetites. But I'm gonna let this dude go. He's been so chill with us just right here, so he deserves to be just let go and he can have the rest of the night to himself. Yeah, I'm just surprised, like, the biggest reason, you don't know, normally we'd be like, that's so common we wouldn't cover it. Yeah. But look at how big he is. It's like, so big. put your hand down. Now look at that. Like, that's massive. He's like, insanely huge. I've never seen a bullfrog that big. Yeah. And I've seen lots of bullfrogs in my life. But nothing like this. Yeah, that's insane. <sighs> yeah, well, I wasn't expecting to have a frog in this video, no. but we can't pass this out. Yeah. All right. Have, have a fun, night. little dude. Go, Go find, find ladies. Lady. I, uh, I guess we need to stop hanging out so much together. We're saying the same thing. Jinx? Jinx. Oh, that's a water snake! Ed just found this guy. I don't think we're going to be able to catch I it, but... I don't think so either, but I got a long hook. Hmm. Maybe I can get him up here. Look what we just found! Oh, well, there he goes. Oh, oh he's coming back to you. Nab him out of the water, Emily. Oh, come here! Ah, oh, guys! This is... Oh my gosh, there's another one! Oh, eh, come here! Oh man, we have two of them. Okay, so these are northern cricket frogs. They are super jumpy. This is one of North America's three smallest species of vertebrates. They only get about three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half long max. So these are adults and we've got two of them here. I can't believe I managed to catch those. They have a very narrow snout and they have a distinguishable triangle of spots behind their eyes. They also have noticeable banding on their hind legs and they are capable of jumping three feet in a single leap. Being a very small species of frog, their diet is pretty predictable. They just eat 
small insects. They're least concern on the IUCN red list, so there are plenty of them here. That one's gone now, I guess. Apparently they can just jump around the, across the water from what we've been, been seeing. But this guy seems to have calmed down a little bit. Yeah, he seems pretty chill. Yeah, the northern cricket frog gets its name from the high-pitched call that they make during breeding season, which actually sounds like a cricket. Their preferred habitat is in a wooded area next to a permanent body of slow-moving water. So this habitat that we found them in is perfect for them. But yeah, they're just an adorable small species of frog. Even though they're considered a type of tree frog, they are not arboreal. Instead, they live a terrestrial life on the forest floor. They also have amazing camouflage and they blend right into the mucky grounds here. So we're gonna let them go, but watch as they like virtually disappear into the sand. Here you go, buddy. Do you see how well he blends in? Yeah. That's incredible. I'll put it there. Where is the frog, everybody? Three, two, one. It's right there. Where'd that other one go? It's oh, right there it is. Below. It's yeah. right below him. Yeah, see? They're so hard to find. Yeah. We wouldn't have seen them unless they had hopped. Yep, pretty much. There you go. Northern cricket frog. Northern cricket frog. <laughs> All right, another I spy. Where are the frogs? There's two. There's two of them now because they moved. All right, three, two, one. There's one of them. And, oh, the other one jumped. Now he's over here. Now he's over there, somewhere. <laughs> Turtle. Can I try to catch him? Careful. Oh, he's going towards the edge. Yep, oh, he and he ran away. Yep. Can't catch him. Nope. Well, I guess this is definitely going to have to be titled something along the lines of Frogs in Texas because we found a species of frog here. This is the southern leopard frog and it is often confused with the Rio Grande leopard frog. We actually had to look it up to tell them apart. The Rio Grande has a broken dorsolateral fold right above its hips. It breaks and then is continued slightly offset whereas the southern leopard frog has a continuous dorsolateral fold all the way down to the rear. Another cool fact about them is that their tympanum or eardrum has a white spot in the middle of it. Oh, no idea why. Yeah. These guys grow to around four to five inches long, which actually is a decent size for a frog. They are a, a pretty large species of frog. And their diet consists of eh, your typical frog diet, a lot of insects and invertebrates. And of course they live near bodies of water. We actually found him in a just recently dried up uh, stream bed, river bed here, and they are nocturnal. So as you can see, it is it is it's, dark. It's dark. Yeah, there we go. We'll go back up here so you can see. <laughs> yeah, they are nocturnal, so it was kind of cool to see this little bugger hopping around. We're also getting eaten up by mosquitoes. Yeah, mosquitoes are everywhere, but I'm going to set this dude back. You know what a group of frogs is called, right? What? It's an army of frogs. Is it really? It is. Oh, cool. Yeah. Here, let's let him go. This is where I found him. Oh my gosh. Bye, little dude. Oh, he's gone. Is that a, is that a toad? Totally Aww. a toad! Chilling in a hole! He was there the whole time and I didn't notice! Oh, I squeaked. Aww! Hey, buddy! Do, 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 do. Aww, <laughs> you're so cute! Well, right. that's what toads do during the day, I guess. Or at night? Or, well, no, during the day they hide in holes like that. Oh, I and think at he's night they come out. out. Yeah, I bet he's coming out to get his nightly food. That is cool. That's cool. Yeah, we actually found the leopard frog right there. Yeah, right there. So, he and had he a buddy. There. All right, let's okay. go out of here because I'm tired ah! of getting eaten by mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are everywhere. Well, we didn't find a single venomous snake on this trip. We saw one water snake. That was it. Didn't even catch a single snake. But that's how it goes sometimes when you're herping. And you know what? We're making the best of it. We found some frogs. I caught that in the air. Nice. It was awesome. We found some toads like this little guy. And we found plenty of these cricket frogs. So, you know, it wasn't a complete loss. We, I guess, are just going to learn about frogs today instead. So I'd like to thank everybody for watching today's episode here. And and, oh, there goes the toad. And uh, as always, thank you to our wonderful Patreon supporters who helped make this trip possible. We love you guys. And thank you to everyone who's just here learning about reptiles. And in this case, amphibians. Thank you, everybody. And we'll see you next time. Should we go pick up our Universal Rock stuff? Let's go pick up our Universal Rock stuff.